Hi, Mark. Um, and so a lot of, I know, I've known you for a few years, but a lot of people don't know you and don't really know much about your background. So can you tell us a little bit about where you've been, what you've done, you know, some highlights of time, time at Tintree? Sure. So I joined Tintree back in August 2011. Uh, my role is the uh, SE manager for Europe, Mid Middle East and Africa. Um, so I run the entire technical organisation. But uh, prior to Tintree, I was actually at uh, a variety of networking vendors for 20 years. But even before that, I actually got into storage and virtualization through my days back in the, the, the good old days of the IBM mainframe. Well, I've been there myself. So you know, back in the 80s, it was quite interesting, wasn't it? It's amazing how many people today don't realize how many of the constructs that they play around with existed, you know, three, four decades ago. So yeah, things like I grew up. <laughs> memory management, Indeed. Uh, disk management, uh, sharing of I.O. You know, there's, there's a lot of things that just move forward, haven't they, into the new technology we use today, like VMware. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. So what, what that, excites you? Um, what excites me about Tintree specifically is we've built a new class of storage platform designed specifically for virtual machines, but only for virtual machines. So we can very grandly understand the I.O. traffic pre uh, patterns for each and every virtual machine that runs on a Tintree device. So we are a VMware storage platform. Very unique. How did that come about, though? You know, so, who thought, you know, let's do it differently? It's a great question, actually. So, the company was founded by Dr. Kieran Harty. Kieran was um, the man that ran engineering for VMware from pre products, so the whole concept of server virtualization, etc., uh, vCenter, all these tools that we know and love. They were actually designed by, by um, uh, the engineering team that reported directly to Kieran. Um, and as I'm sure you're aware, um, virtualization does a pretty good job, or certainly the hypervisor does a good job of managing resources like compute resources, CPU, memory, it does a pretty good job of, of actually providing and controlling access into the network environment. But what it doesn't do is actually manage the storage particularly well. So you have an abstraction layer called a data store. So from a VM perspective, the VM sees the data store. Uh, from a storage perspective, the storage sees the data store, but the VM doesn't see the back-end storage, and the back-end storage doesn't understand that data that lives on it has any relationship with a virtual machine. So Kieran actually left um, uh, to set up Tintree to solve that specific uh, issue. So essentially every Tintree appliance you can think of as being a data store. Yeah. So it provides that very uh, controlled linkage between the two environments. Yeah, so it's a different approach. And uh, I'm sure you've come up against problems with the traditionalists with their SAN infrastructure. This is the way we've always done it, so we should continue to do it that way. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the biggest problem is that when you, when you suddenly run a whole bunch of virtual machines on a piece of uh, server hardware, the I.O. patterns change dramatically compared to how an individual application would send its I.O., if you will. So that blending effect from the hypervisor layer, bringing all those IOs together that then get shipped off to the storage, it actually is quite burdensome for, for the storage array itself. So how do we suddenly provide enough performance to hand a completely uh, randomized set of IOs? And the traditional approach has actually been to over-provision storage or short-stroking, et cetera, to get enough performance out of spinning disks to, to actually handle uh, the, the randomized I.O. So, there, needed, there needs to be a better way of doing this, and, and that's what we've come up with. Oh, that's good. Well, thanks ever so much, Mark. We're going to do a, a series of um, small uh, videos going into specific areas that uh, customers have asked us, and also that um, you know customers ask you over the period of time. Hopefully, it'll be quite important. So, we'll okay, kick off with those next. Great. Thank you.